Hey everyone, Christine McKee here from the Emerging Technology Team. Let's take a closer look at a Microsoft class team from the student view or student perspective. Let's also explore how students can work on and submit assignments inside a class team. All right, so I've gone ahead and opened a class team that I'm a student in. And notice that I can see in the left navigation at the top, I have access to our class notebook. If I were to click on assignments, notice that I can view all assigned assignments and I can even view anything that I've completed. I also have access to my grades only. Below, I can see the channels list. Here I will see all of the channels that I'm a member of. I can also see that my teacher has added me to a private channel for a breakout group for discussion with my classmates. All right, here inside the general channel, I can see that my teacher has posted a few announcements and posts, but notice that I can't click on new conversation. That's because this channel has been moderated. In other words, the only person who can post announcements or other posts inside of this channel is my teacher. Now, if I were to go to a different channel like daily check-ins, I can see that this is not a moderated channel. And I can see that I have that new conversation button at the bottom of my screen. And when I click it, I can now start a new conversation post, ask a question, or share something with my classmates. Let's go to assignments and take a look at how we can complete work that has been assigned to us. Now, I currently see that I have two upcoming assignments, both due on September 30th. To view an assignment, I'm simply going to click on the tile. And now I'm inside the assignment. Here I can see for understanding my worldview, instructions. I can see that my teacher has added reference materials. So if I were to click on this Word document, it would open inside of Microsoft Teams. And notice that it's a view only document, in this case, because it is the instructions for the assignment. So my teacher doesn't want me to be able to edit it. Let's close the instructions. Notice that under my work, my teacher has already provided me with a PowerPoint template that I can work on or edit myself. Now, I can see that this is worth 100 points, but I can also see that there has been a rubric attached. To view the rubric, I'm simply going to click on it, and now I can review the success criteria outlined by the rubric so that I can ensure that I'm on the right track with my project and aiming for a standard of excellence. Notice inside the assignment, I also have access as a student to accessibility features, including the powerful Immersive Reader. When I click on Immersive Reader, this is going to bring the details of the assignment into Immersive Reader, where I can use Immersive Reader to help me read and comprehend and potentially translate the instructions for the assignment. Now we'll take a closer look at all of the features of Immersive Reader in an upcoming video. Let's go back to the assignment. All right, now, as I mentioned, my teacher has provided a PowerPoint template for me. So if I wanted to work on this particular PowerPoint template, I would just simply click on it and notice that it opens PowerPoint right inside of Class Teams. I don't have to open any other applications. If I do have Microsoft PowerPoint on my desktop, I can always open in the desktop app if I'm more comfortable working in the desktop app. But notice that I have all of the tools of Microsoft PowerPoint. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this template. I also want to show you that if we go back to the assignment, I can click attach and I can attach a file that I've been working on maybe in my OneDrive. If I've been working in an online document like Microsoft Word Online or PowerPoint Online, I can always provide a link. 
If I was working in my Teams files, I could access it in Teams. And if I was working on a PowerPoint, say on my desktop, I could upload directly from my device. Notice that I can also click plus new and I can create a brand new Word document, Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoint, or class notebook page right inside of class Teams. For this example, I'm going to attach a PowerPoint that I've already completed. So I'm going to click attach, select my OneDrive, and now I can find that file. Once I've selected it, I just simply click attach. To view my work, I could simply click to open the PowerPoint. Again, this is going to open right inside of Microsoft Teams. And I can go ahead and add additional information to this PowerPoint to finish it off before I turn it in. I'm going to close. And once I'm ready to turn in my work, I simply click the Turn In button here in the top right corner. Let's go back. Notice that that assignment has been removed from the Assign tab, and now I will find it in the Completed tab of Assignments. Something to keep in mind is that in the Completed tab, I can always open that assignment again, and notice that I can undo my turn in. So if my teacher has provided feedback for me using that attached rubric, I can use that feedback to enhance or improve my work and if I'm allowed, I can resubmit my work. So I would simply click Undo Turn In, and this would return the assignment to me to continue working. And once I was ready to turn it in again with changes made, I would simply click the Turn In button once again.